Hey guys, what's up? I'm back at you with another South Park episode review. Um, this time I'm doing one that wasn't really, um, quote-unquote, intentional. I'm doing an episode that last night on, on TV I was just scrolling the channels, just trying to find something to watch. You know, I was tired, I wanted to watch a little bit of TV. Um, and I saw an episode of South Park on last night, on Comedy Central. It was called Man Bear Pig. Um... Honestly, I didn't. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Um, before I get started, like all my South Park episode reviews, go check out the Stand of My Kyle, you know, Chris Panelli. Subscribe to him. Link is in the underbar. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, kind of starts off as a normal day in South Park Elementary, where um, the where Mr. Mackey calls all the students, okay, to the uh, gymnasium for a public service announcement by ex Vice President Al Gore. Who actually um, tries to aware, raise awareness of this weird creature called Man Bear Pig, that I'm assuming is something he made up. And um, and um, he tries to raise awareness for it. And Kyle and Stan kind of conclude that he's just doing it because he has no friends. And then about five in the a.m. Or four in the AM. I'm sorry. Um, Stan gets a call from Al Gore, asking him to come to a, a certain meeting at 8 a.m. with his friends, which include Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman. And they um, they go head up to the caves because they think they found the Mary Pig sighting. And they um go in there, and I think because of the whistling that they usually hear, the the cave collapses on them and they're caved in. Although Al Gore is able to escape, the kids are trapped. Um, and, um, President Al Gore, Vice President Al Gore is still thinking that it's Man Bear Pig, although he's just making something up, it's not really real. And, um, the kids are trapped in, they're trying to find a ways out, and, um, um, anyway, uh, Cartman goes to a path, and he f finds treasure, a treasure chest, and a skeleton, and he doesn't want everybody to, you know, find it. So what he does is he decides to eat it. And then after, um, some rocks are, after, um, man, um, Al Gore put some rocks on a river that said to stop Man Bear Pig, causes a flood, which floods the, floods the cave in, and, um, um, and, uh, they make it out alive, but, um, and, um, I'm surprised I didn't learn the kids' names. But, um, anyway, um, they make it out, and Cartman starts spitting out the treasure out of his ass. And he says it's his, and, they, and the one guy goes, Isn't that the treasure that shit from the exhibit that, that kids didn't take their pictures with? Yeah, um, anyway, I did notice a few things in this episode that aren't really the same with other episodes I've seen. Um... Um, I did see the episode Cartman Land, and, um, also in the episode P, um, when, like, they're riding in the car, they look like they have their shoes on, but, like, in the next scene, they don't, because they arrived like that, and, like, they painted the bottom of their shoe, of the, of the bottom of their feet, like, that blackish color that they had shoes on, and, um, they kind of got that wrong in that episode, but, however, when they did it for Stan in this episode, when he woke up, they actually did get that, they actually did get that right. I'm not sure if that's either something that's accidental with Trey Parker, like if they forgot to forget to do it, or if it's just something they do, or I'm not sure. Same thing I saw in Carmen Lane when Kyle sits up in his hospital bed. I'm pretty, he's pretty sure when he had his hemorrhoid work done, he had to remove anything from the waist down, so I believe he didn't have shoes on. And um, I did also notice something else. Um, the guys actually try to sleep, and um, um. We learned this, I'm not sure if it was this episode or another one, but we learned that Kyle wears an undershirt. However, in the episode, um, Mr. Garrison's Sexy New Vagina, um, the doctor starts constantly removing Kyle's clothing to kind of draw out the areas where they're going to do the surgeries. Like, he pulls off his hat and kind of draws some lines on his face. He pulls, he has him take his pants off and then draws the lines on his underwear. But then he has him take off his jacket, which I find kind of confusing because... 
he only took off the jacket. He didn't show his um, um, his undershirt, which I also find confusing. And um, if you want to watch this clip, look it up on SouthParkStudios.com. It's called Necroplasty. Um, and it actually proves my point. And um, also, since it was like 2:30 in the a.m., this episode was also uncensored because a common thing that's said about on South Park by pretty much almost anyone, but mostly Kyle, is asshole. And it was actually uncensored in this episode because most of the text appeared as um usually you know when they're gonna curse if you watch with t captions on TV because they'll say bleep. But in this episode, surprisingly, um, do I think it's a good episode? Well. I think it's okay. And this actually is, has kind of a first for me. Actually, a second time for me. This is probably the um, second episode I've seen of South Park where Kenny doesn't die. The first time was in uh, South Park is Gay. This is kind of like the second time I've seen um, Kenny where he doesn't die. And also another thing I saw, which was also interesting, I don't think Stan had his jacket on, or... Yeah, it's a brown jacket or sweater that he usually wears. It said he had, like, a red shirt with, like, a blue long sleeve shirt and sweat. He had, like, a red tank top with a blue un long sh sleeve shirt underneath. I'm not sure if that's incredibly accurate or not, or, you know, what, but you know, that's how I saw it. So, um, hint to the hint, hint. Um, I don't really, um... I thought it was okay. It was enjoyable. But I wouldn't, I'm not pretty sure if I'm going to ever, you know, watch it again. But, you know, it was a, it was amusing. Although I was half tired and was 2.30 in the morning. I was tired. Didn't really give a damn. So, um, yeah, I guess that's really about it. Later, guys, I'm out of here.